Okay, to start the modeling part, I'm going to start off with a couple polygons. Um, these polygons are going to be my level 1 subdivision, but my final surface is going to be a level 2 subdivision. So I select my polygons, create poly mesh subdivision. Now I have uh, my level 2 subdivision. Now I want my level 2 subdivision to stick to my character, so I'm going to shrink wrap him to my character and use the vertex normals because my normal direction is going to be the direction that I'm modeling to. Uh, so let's let's add some more edges to this guy. So go poly mesh, split edge control, and just a parallel loop. I'm just going to inline removal. Um, so you can see my subdivision is always following the high-res character, so I'm just going to duplicate some some edges here, drag some points around, just start really blocking them in. some more some more detail in so now I have good amount starting to come together here. I'm going to start pulling some vertices around. Going to my key areas where I'm going to put my intersection points. some more spans in here. You can extrude edges and it always holds the connection. If you start working the form for a while, you can um, symmetrize this 
just to see how the character's starting to come along. So let Symmetry still. Uh, well, that, that's fine. Let's hide this guy. And you can see you have uh, vertex points popping through. That means that you're actually intersecting your high res uh, piece. So let's select my level one. Just go to my um, symmetrized polygon and delete that operator. And any time on this level one, you can you can freeze all all your stuff, and level two is always going to follow. Um, so let's let's f let's fix that point. So as I pull it, boom, pops it right back out in place, right where it needs to be. Um, so let's symmetrize it again. Symmetrize polygons, and so as you can see, with the shrink wrap tool, there's a lot of possibilities you can do, and the shrink wrap you can uh, can multiply the effect if you if if you like, you know, go way after after one and just uh, in this example, really tear the character up, but there's all kinds of things you can really do with it. It's a pretty powerful tool. Um, so let's get to the point where I've actually finished this character.